permadeath. There we go. And we're gonna... How do I even survive real life? I don't know. Don't know. There we go. So now... Let's see what he gives us. I think he's going to give us, yeah, Blessed Goggles, or we have Goggles of Insight, which is for attack bonus, or the Search and Disable things. The Search and Disable things aren't that great because I will be getting a better one. So I'm going to take the Goggles of Bless, and there's ZZYYYY. ZZYYYY. And... We also did Sacrifices, which is this guy. Now this is where I get to actually pick out a piece of gear that will help, and it will be Troubleshooter's Goggles. Because I am on trap duty, and I need those. So we will link those in party chat. <laughs> now this is going to be a thing. Uh, let's take stock of what I've got. I've got about 150 or so bolts. Hopefully that will make a difference, a but for the most part, I'm just going to be relying on him to kill all the things. And I can pike the quest so I can get the troubleshooter's necklace and... You know. <laughs> You're here! Come! There isn't much time. Big old long dialogue thing. Uh, let's do it. We'll figure a plan along the way. Your party. I will weaken the barrier for you. Ready. <laughs> oh, do I have my You're feather fallen cloak? Back. Yes. Oh, I got it on the hot bar already. Nice. That's so smart. Now to find this quarry mine sunder artifact. Go. Holy crap! <laughs> I think probably what I should have done, I know I was more worried about traps and things like that, which I still am. Because I worry. I'm a worry wart. Uh, I'm... <laughs> Probably uh, what I should have done is done not a strength based build, but at least put some points in the strength and use Master's Touch uh, to help out with the DPS because I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Um, there are quite a few quests with traps in them, but there are also quite a few quests without traps in them. So, don't know. I don't know what would be, what would be better. Because technically, I could have done something with, like, the Harper Tree. I could have done, since I, ha I am VIP and have access to that, I could do uh, intelligence-based something, still be able to do the traps, um, throw a rogue level in, and then later on I could get, uh, what is it, intelligence to attack and damage. So, I don't, I don't know. Time will tell. I'm not sure how long this series will last, it just depends on how quickly we die, horribly. But I will have some good buffs later on, it's just right now, I mean, I'm taking just tons of damage, I have no armor whatsoever, there's, I have nothing in the way of, of helping as far as spells and things, so... I picked out two spells, didn't even slot anything, because honestly it's not going to be that useful. Suck down a potion. Doing my whopping one damage a hit. I'm helping.
I don't think you can see the mobs behind us. Which would lead to troubles later on, but I'm sure at some point he'll have a spot item. Pete's sake. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe even a, a, a ranger would have been good for this. One rogue and the rest uh, ranger and then uh, throw a fighter level in there someplace because that would probably help out a bit more as far as DPS goes. Uh, because my self-healing right now is minimal at best. Uh, so this is one of those things where I'm just trying to... Ooh, push on Burke skin. Nice. Throwing daggers. 50 or 60 guys on my face. And my DPS is just atrocious. He's stuck in the web! Pete's sake. needs the shrine for the lay on hands because I'm not sure how many he has right now. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, nice trip. But that might be better than nothing, though, you know? We shall see. Yay, I'm stuck in a spider web. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. These lower levels are slow sometimes and very boring, but still they're fun in my opinion. You hear the stone door at the base of the cavern rolling open. I don't know if he's typing or, or what there. Yeah. Pete's sake, really? Watch me die right up here. Goodness. Thank you. 
Now I've played, um, and still play in a static group with uh, my nephew here, and uh, he always does really well, you know, um, with DPS and things like that. Uh, but there have been a few times where I've I've run a build where in you know the lower levels it's just not going to be good, and I just don't feel like I'm doing very much. Um, well, thank you for destroying my bolt, you freaking ghoul. How do you even get my backpack to get my bolt? Jerk. Uh, I had a problem with one character. It was a wisdom-based favorite soul, which is fine. You can nuke things and stuff, but I didn't feel like I was doing anything. Um, let's see, what did I take at the time? I think I took... Two levels of Barbarian for the run speed, and then right after that, I think they they changed the uh, enhancements so that you no longer got an automatic two uh, the you didn't get the automatic run speed with two levels of Barbarian. So that was a waste and a half. That was very irritating. Um, so I had to slog through that life, the rest of that life through uh, the static group, and really only until the higher levels did it feel better, and yeah, he's, <laughs> poor Terry. Yeah, his main character, Zanaga, is, uh, has just completed another heroic life. He's like 35th or something like that on that character or something insane. Um, of course he groups and stuff and I don't because I'm <clears throat> a malcontent and normally just stay away from people uh, to hide my face. But he got, uh, he got capped and he was saying, well, I think I'm going to stay at cap for a while and I'm going to make uh, some displacement clickies and stuff. And now he's second guessing because he just wants to TR. And I get that because I've done the same thing. It's like, oh man, yeah, I'm going to stay at cab for a while and do this and that, and that never happens. Let's see if I can take out or at least help damage this acolyte before he shoots me with all the things. GPS is just. How much of this I'm going to cut out because this is kind of boring not being able to chit chat and stuff. You know what, just because I can, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to do this and just really do zero DPS. So his main character, Zanaga, is capped, and he was going to make some displacement clickies, but he's got the itch to TR because he wants to try something new. And I don't blame him. Um, I, hell, I've been at, like, level 10 before and said, you know what, I'll be glad when this life is over because I'm just bored or whatever. Do a little bit of that, that might help our attack rolls some. Dual wielding, Mom. Ooh. 
Maybe I should get a staff or something like that. That might actually help. So if I get a staff, since I'll have proficiency in it, I can use that. A signal crystal glows with power as you engage the first control. Not as much damage as like an axe or something with Master's Touch, but then again, I'm not going to be doing much damage anyway. Look at all the guys over here. And this is a playstyle for me, or one of the settings that I do. I just prefer to see the mob hit point bars, so that I'm able to know... Okay, this guy's about dead, so I can kill him off. Rather than trying to target something. Alright, let's kill the... Casters first. This is just a giant mess. Yeah, my DPS is just not there. Didn't expect it to be, though. I think it's because I, whenever I TR my main character and do like a sorcerer or something like that, I usually have enough points to put a little bit more into my uh, strength. And because this is a first life non-TR character, I did not have that. I also don't have the Kenneth crafted twink gear either. Feel fresh frozen air gust in from the newly opened door below. Oh take a little drink, drink. Yeah, I don't blame him for uh, wanting to TR, because it is um, a thing. Right now, my main character is doing a heroic life, and it's a two-monk um, two monk and 18 druid eventually. And I think I'm level 15 right now. Pretty soon, well, within about 150k XP, I'll be taking level 16 and doing all the things, but I've noticed that I prefer epics more than heroics. I don't, I don't know. I enjoy these quests, but it just comes a time whenever you're playing... Ow. Comes a time when you're playing that you're going to be stuck in uh, a situation where you, you, you cannot group, uh, or you don't want to group, which is mostly my case is I have tried to throw up an LFM before. It never works out because I cannot work the LFM panel the right way uh, for some reason. So rather than goof off of that, it's, I'll just solo the stuff. So eventually I, I start off on Elite and then I will go to Hard uh, and then finish up the life that way, which it takes a little bit longer, admittedly. But I think probably when you get to giant hold or so, or a little bit past giant hold, I guess, you get into a, a situation where the things have such huge inflated hit points and saves and etc, cetera, etc, cetera, that it's uh, more trouble than it's worth, I guess, trying to do elite, in my opinion. Uh, but that's again, is coming from the standpoint of soloing things, so it is not a group style of, of thing. I just have awful, horrible times trying to group with people. Um, one build I had, I had a... Uh, oh, what, what was the build? It was some weird, crazy, janky build that I had done just to get a past life. And I tried to join a pug for something, and the thing came back, popped up on my screen, that said that uh, they basically did not accept me into the party. They denied my request. And then I got a tell from the guy saying, fix your build, noob. And I thought, well, that's not very nice. You know, you could probably ask me a question like, oh, hey, how, what does this build do? Why did you make it like that? Well, it's just for a past life. And I, I have enough self-healing, I do enough damage, everything is fine. So what is the problem? 
but uh, they didn't see it that way. They just wanted to dismiss me right out of hand, and you're going to have people like that in any situation, whether it is a an MMO, whether it's real life, uh, family reunion, whatever. You're going to have people that suck, so the best thing to do is just move on. So that's kind of what I did, and I just said, you know what, whatever. So I finished up the life just fine. Uh, I just thought, well, you know, it would be easier for me to group and do some grouping, but apparently that wasn't in the cards, at least that time. And I've done a lot of weird, kind of silly builds, but for the most part, it's been the normal uh, type of builds. Um, I have another video which shows, oh god, that elf zombie was like halfway in the ground there. Creepy. There we go, and here's the end of the quest. Or at least getting there. Hi. Good job. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sure my DPS would not even scratch the uh, crystal over there, so. Oh, man. There we go. And let's watch the show. The mind flayer shrieks as it loses the mind son. You are dead, son. The dragon reasserts its will and looks very annoyed. <laughs> Just immediately turn right into ice and die. Very funny. <laughs> Woo! Follow me. Hayton wants a word with you. Hello, Hayton. <laughs> Hello, Lars. Here, take this portal. So you won't have to walk back. Are we though? <laughs> I don't think so. And like Matt. God, almost six thousand XP for that. That is actually pretty good. Now, this is what we want to get. We want the troubleshooter's necklace because we have the troubleshooter's uh, whatever it is, the goggles. So we have a plus three to our search spot and listen and then when we get the necklace we will also get as a part of the set uh, plus three to our open locks and plus three to disable device we need that would you like to pick it up yes I would and I want to put it right on my neck get rid of this where my necklace there it is yeah we both got mail it's undoubtedly the 50 favor mark I wonder if I can do this quest over here. Bluff. Nope. Uh, Haggle. Nope. Terminate. Uh, Diplo. Ah, poop. He went like all the way over there to check his mail. But I guess the bank is over there too. 